So in today's video, I want to do a total full walkthrough of how to use Anki as a beginner. If you are frustrated when it comes to learning a new language, especially when it comes to vocabulary, then you are in the right place. Maybe you've been actually looking for a tool to help you or you know about Anki, but you don't know how to actually use it. So in this video, I want to make it very easy for you and explain to you step by step how to use Anki as a beginner. I want to make it very easy for you so you can jump right in very quickly practically and efficiently so you can make the most of this Anki app. By the way, if you are new here, my name is Melk. I am a medical doctor. I live in Bonn, Germany. I moved about two and a half years ago from Uganda. So I made this video because I have referenced Anki a lot and so many questions have come up asking me to clarify how to actually use Anki in my videos. I used Anki to become fluent and then go on to pass my first medical licensing exam. And it's the very tool I'm using right now to prepare myself for the second medical licensing exam, of course. I learned about Anki in medical school and so I've I had used it earlier before. In fact, for most of the subjects which are basically abstract, Anki was a very helpful helpful learning tool. As usual, please like the video, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, and for any specific questions, leave them down in the comment section below. So what is Anki? Anki is a flashcard system that exists in e-form, as in it's used on computer, or on your smartphone, but it's an intelligent one. What do I mean by intelligent one? It is intelligent in the sense that Anki categorizes whatever you have learned into three categories. What you have really mastered, that's what you're good at, then what you are average at, and what you are really weak at, as in the things that you can't remember well when it comes to the topic that you covered earlier. So what it does, it helps you in the revision in the sense that when you're revising those cards, it maximizes your revision in the area that you are weak at. So it makes you remember things very well. But before we go into the setup of Anki, I just want to emphasize that it's available for both PC and for Mac and then for iOS and Android. For iOS, it's unfortunately for paying for, but I think it is even worth the pay even if you're using iOS or an iPhone for that matter. Yes. So for the purpose of this setup, I'm going to use my MacBook, but the procedure is exactly the same. Even if you're using PC or you're using Android or using your phone, the procedure is quite, quite the same. Let's just dive into it and I'll show you guys how to set this thing up. So what you do is you go to the official Anki website if you want to download the app. Actually, just type in and say Anki download. Sorry, did there since I downloaded it some time back. So when you go to Anki download, you're going to see this first website that pops up, Anki Powerful Intelligent Apps, apps.ankiweb.net. So when you click on it, you'll see this download button. And so when you click on it, they are going to bring you down here for you to specify onto which device do you want to download Anki. So for my sake, I have to click, of course, Mac OS because I'm using Mac. I'm, I'm using a MacBook Pro here. But for you, you just go and select which kind of device you have. So we have Windows, we have Linux. And then for the mobile aspect of the app, you can click either Android or iOS. Since I already downloaded the app, I'm not going to go on and download. Uh, but for you guys, you can just do that. You go on and install the app. Once you install the app, it's going to require that you do some sign up or some setup of sorts. So you have to put in your email and all those details. It helps you when it comes to syncing your material so that even if you're using Anki on the laptop and you want to use it on your phone as well if you want to review your cards when you're on the move or you're on the go like in a car or in, in a train or in a bus or whatever you can still revise your cards and have them on your phone this area here now mine looks actually full because i have some work already going on this is these are some of the things i'm studying right now and some of the things i studied but yours could be empty so what we do is before we add any card we have to create a deck a deck is basically like a set of cards which are stuck together so you have to to create different decks these are different decks that i have and inside these decks are my cards for you to create a new deck don't go to add just come down here to create deck let me just create one deck for us for the sake of this video how to use anki when we open this deck it has nothing inside so it's going to say congratulations you have finished this deck for now that means there are no cards there let's go back to deck so i just want to emphasize here maybe and even highlight that it's actually possible for you to have sub decks that means you can have a deck and a deck and that helps you to kind of revise more systemically in case you have many things that you want to revise. We can go on and create another deck. Let's just say how to part one. We get it and drag and drop it into how to use Anki. Now, the moment we do that, we see that on that deck, there appears a plus sign here. Once we click on that plus sign, you see how to part one. That means this deck is existent under our deck of how to use Anki. 
So that kind of just helps you to be better organized. Like you can see here, for me, I have FSP, Begrife, and under it, I have Abkutungen. That's something that I did. That's it. Now you've been able to create a deck. So we go on and add cards into that deck. How do we actually add cards to that deck? You click add water cards actually these cards you know they are like the e form of an actual card so they have the front part of the card and the back part of the card so it's like just a card that has the front side with the question and the back side with the answer why this is important and why this is actually a very good system of learning is that research has shown that people who learn using active recall learn better what is active recall active recall is that aspect of you yourself forcing yourself to remember things so if i've learned a topic instead of me just going on to reread and reread what i do is i force myself to kind of remember i read through something but once i go back you revise kind of on question basis it is like the voluntary aspect of you quizzing yourself along the way as you revise research shows that people who use active recall as a system of learning memorize things way better and learn way quicker so this is our card we have different types of cards we have the basic we are just going to go through each of them but for now let's just use the basic let me just say you want to learn something say the table how the table in english is called in german the table is called the artish then you say add now once we add and we close this thing we are going to see that now we have one card so now if for example you're reading something and you keep on adding the english part of your card and then the german part of your card time comes for you to of course revise your cards or to study or to go through your cards go through your words that you've learned through that day so what you do is you just come and click here study it opens up now we see that we have a card to review or we have cards to review so what you do is you, of course just takes you straight to the cards for you to start revising now our question is there at the table do i remember do i not remember that depends on of course if you remember or not you can say show answer or you just click the space bar and then it's going to show you their teach the good system with anki like i explained what it does is it kind of helps you assess yourself how well were you able to remember this particular information that you're revising again means you didn't totally remember anything and then we have had had means of course the card was had or you are able to recall it quite well so it was good or it was totally easy so if Again, that means Anki is going to show you this card again in one minute. If you click hard, it means it's going to show you in six minutes. That card will be flashed to you again for you to be able to go through it again. And then if it's good, Anki will show you in 10 minutes. But if it was very easy, that means the moment you saw it, before you even flip the card to see the other side, you already knew the answer. Then you click easy and you'll see this card again in six days. That means tomorrow, as you're revising, you don't have to waste time focusing on this. So you can focus on learning other things. And this card will appear to you again in six days. That, that's how beautiful Anki is. It kind of prioritizes your learning and you focus on the things that you must focus on. That's a sample of reviewing nail. I'm just going to say one minute. I'm just assuming that's hard. Then it says congratulations. So for now, within one minute, I'm not going to have any cards. But of course, in case I have many other cards, I'll keep reviewing other cards until that one minute elapses. And this card comes and flashes at me again so i can be able to recall that is what is called active recall so now that we reviewed our card here anki shows us that we don't have any card to review um let me just go on and add another card as we wait for one minute to elapse for us to to, to have that card reviewed again now let's go on to just explore other forms of cards that exist here we have basic and reverse card that means it makes two cards you don't have one card but two cards like it also reverses the answer for you so let me just show you guys an example let's just say the car the car in german is called das auto once we add that it will actually add two cards so when i go on and say study the moment one minute elapses the priority that comes is you have to first learn the card that you just forgot that you said is hard so the table it's the artish now let's just say in one minute again the house um do i remember that yes that in german is called of course das house but for the sake of revision let me just say show me that card again in one minute and then this is the card i wanted to show you guys so in this card the car and then the answer is das auto now let's say that's good but there's another card that was formed in this category of basic and reverse there is also a card with das auto on the front and then when you click to review down is the car that's how beautiful anki is it kind of really helps you learn those cards in a very interesting and systematic way let me just show you one more form which i think is just enough for the beginner level we don't have to learn all the other complicated forms of cards which exist cards with clothes so these cards with clothes when you say add they help you fill in the missing words so if this is for example the statement i want to remember by the way in case you are new here i am milk 
medical doctor living in Bonn, Germany. And that's a statement I want to remember. I could just go on and make some of these aspects of this card oblivious or not seen so that I can test myself to see if I remember this. So I highlight this and click on these two arrows here. That is going to be C1 or rather close one. When I say add, let me just show you guys what actually happened. I review that card study. Now, of course, we have to first go through all these cards. Yes. And then when this card actually happens, you're going to see that this card comes and says, by the way, in case you are new here, I, da 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 da, a medical doctor living in Bonn, Germany. That means you have to recall the information which is in the bracket that has been hidden away. Click and say answer. And then, yes, by the way, if you're new here, I am milk so that is the phrase which was missing in there and that makes anki a very exciting app when it comes to learning anything that means you can learn anything from paragraphs to different things and so it's like a self-quizzing tool that helps you learn very effectively for this video since you are a beginner let's just focus on those three types of cards they are wonderful and i think they would help you so because we live in the era of internet you don't have to make all your cards sometimes you can even go on the internet and look at the work that people have done and then download their cards and use those cards instead of you making your own cards from scratch that's something i've done for german how do we do that it is very easy what we do is you just go onto your browser type in and say fast 1000 words in german anki deck once you type in that you're going to have several links that come up to you, you can get those cards from reddit you can get these decks from the official anki website there is a deck i got from gote so when you click here and then you just go on and click download it's going to download i think it's already done downloading you just go on into your Anki and say import. This deck is already here. It is existent here. Now what you do is you start revising. The word is V. Yes, V is how about so so as. Okay, now V is get that tab like I said or as I said. Zaine, his, das is that. Air is he. That is basically how you can make use of other people's work on the internet other than having to make your cards from scratch. So that makes it very, very easy and very wonderful for you guys. Let me just go on and give you guys a pro tip on how to use Anki effectively. What I recommend is don't be sucked up into the cards. Just use the 10 seconds rule. Because it's supposed to test my memory and my learning, what I do is I give myself a maximum of 10 seconds. If I cannot recall what is flashed before me in 10 seconds, I click show answer. I have to assess myself within 10 seconds. And even learning, whatever I'm learning, I have to learn it in 10 seconds. Of course, it depends on how long the paragraph is. If the paragraph is long, you might have to stretch it up to 20 seconds. But usually if it's just a word or something I need to remember, no or don't know, I give myself a maximum of 10 seconds. And after 10 seconds, I click show. So that helps me to kind of move the volume and go on. Anki is literally supposed to help you to just kind of retrieve this information very automatically, almost at the same speed at which you would retrieve your own name. Now, let me just go on to go through other aspects of this app before we close. So, deck is basically a drop-down menu of all your decks which are available. Add helps you add cards. That means the card that you're adding right now will automatically go to the selected deck. That means I am going to add a deck to my FSP Begrefe. Browsing, this one just helps you browse through all your cards, all the cards which are in here. In case you want to search a specific card, and maybe edit it, you can just go on and search in here. Uh, that is it the statistic this shows you how well you've been revising and how well you've done it can be a source of motivation for your learning and then sync this is something that happens automatically it's every time you add cards you're going to have it synced onto your other devices so that like for example me i don't have to only sit here on the computer and revise my cards i can revise my card through the day on my phone as i am traveling in transit learning a new language can be very complicated if you're somebody who has been asking how can i learn german quickly i would recommend that you actually check out this video here because in this video I go into details of how I was able to do that very quickly and go on to reach C1 in a very short record time. So this video is in English and if you want you can check out this one. This one here is in German. They speak the same thing. Other than that please consider liking the video if you found it helpful and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I hope I see you in one of these videos. Bye and peace.